back to another video lesson on syllables. So in my last video, I talked about what actually syllables are and uh, what are open and closed syllables. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to break words into syllables. See, breaking words into syllables makes it easier to read because we have smaller chunks to read, right? So how we can break a word into syllables? Now, say, uh, if I have this word, okay? So you all know this is a one syllabic word. Pen, right, pen. And if you remember, in my last video, I told you that syllables contain a vowel, right? It's a vowel sound, I mean. So in pen, E is the vowel, right, here. So eh, this is the vowel sound, pen. So this is one syllabic word. And if you remember, this is, since the vowel is closed by a consonant, N, this is an example of a closed syllable, right? So now if we take another word, pen. Okay, so how do you read this word? Pencil, right? Pencil, two-syllabic word, right? Because how do you identify this is a two-syllabic word? As I told you in my previous video as well, we have to count the number of vowels, right? So let's count the vowel sound here. So this is, right, one and this is another. So now we got that since... Uh, Right, we got the vowel sound here, right? F and E, pencil. So how do you break this? So what we need to do is, first we need to underline the vowels present in the word. And then we will find the word, I'm oh, sorry, the letters in between. So what do we find here? N and C. Now what we, do, what we need to do is, from the middle we need to break this, right? So we get pencil. So... Pen, sil, two syllabic word. And both are closed syllables because after the vowel we have a consonant N here and a consonant N here. Pen, sil. Right. Now let's take another word. Uh, okay. So how many syllables are there in this word? Yes. Right. Two, right. How? Open, open, right? So, we need to break this. So, here it's a little difficult because uh, we underline this vowel, we underline this vowel, O and E, right? But then, we just have one letter in between. So, usually what we need to remember is, usually we break or we split the word at the side of the first vowel sound, right? O, pen. And what you notice here is, this is, this, this syllable, O, is an open syllable because we don't have uh, a consonant that closes this syllable, right? O, and then the second syllable, pen, open. So this is an example of a closed syllable and this is an example of an open syllable, open, right? Now, if we take another example, okay, this is open. If we take another example, uh, right? Just to let you understand or uh, do a review of open and closed syllable, if you remember, I told you when a vowel, oh, sorry, when the syllable is open, the vowel say its letter name, right? So if I say go, go, this is an example of open syllable, right? And so the vowel sound here says the letter name, O, oh, go. But what will happen if I close it with a consonant? The sound changes. The vowel sound becomes shorter. Instead of go, now it's got. Okay, not got, but got. In the same way, if we have this word, me, right? Me, open syllable, me. And if I close it with a consonant, now you will see the 
you can say you will have a short vowel sound and it's a different one instead of me now it's men men okay so this is just to help you understand how the you can say vowel sound changes depending on whether it's a open syllable or closed syllable and what you need to remember is in order to break syllable, the first thing you need to do is underline the vowel sound and then try to break or split the word, right? And, uh, yeah, so this is how you can uh, try to break the word into syllable and keeping the open and closed syllables in mind so that it becomes easier for you to read out the word. So I'll tell you more about uh, syllables in my next video lesson. Until then, take care. Thank you.